Capital. Now he's synonymous with musicals and today Andrew Lloyd Webber launched a new programme aimed at getting London school children to pick up a so much so, the composer has put a million pounds of his own money into the project, as our arts correspondent Brenda Manis reports. She had never picked up an instrument before joining Highbury Grove School. Three and a half years later, Cyan left with a grade A in music and a place at Oxford University. Today, Andrew Lloyd Webber joined her and fellow pupils at Islington School to launch a £2 million project, the Music in Secondary School Trust. The idea is to give students in selected schools in deprived areas the opportunity to study a musical instrument. I think it is groundbreaking. I think what they have done has been really proven to be very successful. And the interesting thing for me now, uh, coming in on this, having seen this happen, is whether or not it can be rolled out equally successfully in other schools, which I believe it absolutely can. The programme is modelled on a successful scheme developed by the former head teacher of Highbury Grove School, which led to every child being given and taught a classical instrument. The £2 million will allow the scheme to continue here and be rolled out to other schools, the first chosen being the Lister School in Newham. I think it's really unfair that people don't get the opportunity to really experience music and the benefits of music just because to do it. To change a culture is extremely difficult but once it started to change as you know you hit a critical point and then everybody wants to be part of it so when the naughty boys and the football team are actually playing violins as well you're on to something else. Learning the viola and learning the flute have kind of given me a lot more confidence. I don't feel like I have to hide away anymore I feel like I have pride now because I can play an instrument really well. She's a girl, she's on fire. 50 languages spoken by students at Highbury Grove. Now they are all united by the language of music. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.